Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to use scheduler and timer in Teamworks. Okay, so basically scheduler is used to trigger an event based on particular occasion. Like for example, if we want to trigger some event like daily at uh, morning nine o'clock or even four o'clock, or it's like schedule is more like an uh, triggering event at specific time. For that we can use the CVR and string is called a con string set. It's a, a you know a widely used uh, scheduler string which we can be used to configure our uh, scheduler. And it, uh, in timer timer is used to trigger uh, event in uh, in a particular time period. For example, if we specify if the event need to be triggered every five seconds, it the event will be triggered every five seconds continuously regardless of the time, date, and everything. So this is the major difference between scheduler and timer. As I said, scheduler is basically used to trigger event at a specific date or time, and timer is used to trigger an event at a particular uh, based on a particular interval. Okay, yeah, let's get into the demo. So yeah, so first thing what we will see is we will see how to create an uh, scheduler. So I'll just go here and then create a new thing. Okay, it's scheduler and then specify project type as a default project type and here base thing as a scheduler okay so when we select as a scheduler there are uh, two things we need to configure one is run as user so here for now i am going to select as administration administrator which is not recommended because administrator have all the privilege to run so it is recommended to use a you know specific user to run the specific functionality so it is recommended to create a new user and then assign the permission to particular thing and then run the service and other thing is the scheduler uh, schedule c warrant string okay so yeah so we can also create a, a c warrant string here uh, like this is the manual equation or if you want for any specific seconds or minutes you can update from from here itself like for example if i want to trigger this even for every five minutes i'll go here and I'll check, uh, click on five so it will give me the CR and string. This, uh, if you want to know the definition of the string, you can just go to this website. In this website, you can, you know, uh, see the description of your expression. So it says like at a uh, second zero zero every five minutes, starting at, at zero zero for every hour. Like it is going to trigger event every five minutes. And then if you want to know the next uh, ten execution date, you can just click on the next execution date. It will show you the time and then date it will be triggered. So yeah, basically we can use our uh, out of the box our uh, thing box key set schedule uh, option to schedule the uh, CVR and string. If not, if you want something complex string, you can come here, you come to this website, and then you can you know select uh, something like this. So what I am going to do is I am going to trigger the event uh, every month first five days, and then at specific ten, uh, you know ten a.m. and then uh, x zero 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 minutes. It's like every month, first five days, it's going to trigger uh, at 10, 10 o'clock, it's going to trigger an event. So this is our CVR and string or con expression. I, I call it as a con expression. Okay. So yeah, I will just uh, click on describe expression. So it will show at 10 a.m. on the first and second and fifth day every month, it's going to trigger it. So if I give the next scheduling date, it will give you the what are the dates and then time it's going to trigger an event. So it says like April 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then at 10 o'clock, it's going to trigger an event. So yeah, we are not going to use this uh, expression now because I don't have that much time to test this. So for now, what we will do is uh, we'll have this minute. So for every, every say one minute, so uh, we will just keep it as, as, as much as short because uh, we are going to test it, right? So we can also keep it in seconds. For every 10 seconds, we are going to trigger this event. The same thing also we can implement in timer. But uh, yeah, as I said, right? Uh, uh, scheduler is more more like of uh, when you want to trigger some event at a specific time, you can use the scheduler. If you want to trigger even for every 10 seconds or uh, say for particular 5 minutes or you know, 10 minutes, you can just use the timer itself. Yeah. So yeah, we will uh, uh, we will you know, choose the con string and then we will just save it. Yeah, we are ready with our uh, scheduler. Next thing, we need to go to subscription and then click on the, we need to add a subscription for the event. Or no, we have so basically we have used the scheduler template and then we have a uh, scheduled our so constraint. So when we use the scheduler thing, right, we will get an event called a scheduled event. Okay, we need to subscribe to that event. So whenever that event triggers, it will run the service in this uh, in the subscription will uh, run the service. Okay, I'll give it a scheduler and then I will enable this. 
or a subscription and then i'll go here in the event i will search for scheduled event so which is mean like for every 10 seconds it's going this event is going to trigger whenever the event is triggered the subscription will run the ports which are going to specify over here, okay and then i'll give no save and continue and then you can also get the uh, current timestamp and then even timestamp and then source and source property and even time is going to be you know scheduled event and you will get the timestamp when, when the event is triggered exactly okay so what logic we can do is yeah i what i will do is i will try to create some property here like some property one and then we'll say put as one oh, sorry here i will put the type of it and then persist that's it so what we are going to do is every time the uh or even this trigger right we are going to increment this property I'll come to subscription, I'll just edit it and then I will what I will do is I'll add our property. Yes, I'll add our property. Ah, okay. Which is in zero, obviously it is not going to increment, so I have to give it plus one. So right now, hmm, it is enabled. Yeah. So every ten seconds, it's going to increment it. Okay. So I think it. Yeah. You can see it right for every ten seconds, the value you think which I will you know reduce. I think we cannot. Uh, I think we can do it by now for every second, it is going to increment the property. It's like now you can see every second our property values get changed. So yeah, this is how you use the uh, uh, scheduler or uh, to trigger an event, and then based on that event you can switch to some business logics. So for example, if you want to send a report to the higher management, that particularly morning eight o'clock, you can use this scheduler uh, uh, scheduler to trigger that event, and then you can fetch the report from data table or database, and then you can send them over a mail or some kind of a uh, logic you can create it and then you can use the schedule to trigger it okay yeah as second thing is we are going to see how to create a timer and then how to use the time okay i will create a timer here i will go create a thing and then i will put test timer and then i will put as a default project and then here write the base thing template should be timer and uh, here also run as user should be I am going to select administrator, but which is not recommended. We have to use a specific user. So yeah, and here is we have to give the update rate, like update rate in the sense, like at what interval we need to trigger that event. So which is in milliseconds. So it's like a uh, sixty thousand. It's like it is going to trigger uh, uh, for every sixty seconds. That is one minute. So we can have it as uh, for every five seconds we are going to trigger it. And since it is a millisecond, right, we can also, since in scheduler, we cannot do it in uh, milliseconds, but here, right, we can also trigger the event for every 100 milliseconds or uh, 10 milliseconds. If you want something to be calculated in such a, in such a time frame, okay, you know, in a, a time frame, we have to mention it, but uh, please keep in mind when we are going to calculate, uh, if you are going to trigger something for every 10 milliseconds, right, it is going to put a lot of load on things. Else. So use that. Uh, uh, update it based on your requirement okay so now we are going to just use the okay we will just keep it as a, every one second we are going to update it and then i will save it and then you can see like a, a user is in the administrative group is assigned to the so it's like it is giving the warning so when we you as administrator right it is going to trigger what are the if, if the person is going to use this timer and if they don't have the access to any of the specific entity they can also uh, use this timer to trigger that particular event so it is recommended to use the specific user yeah so we'll go to subscription here and then i'll create a new subscription i'll put it as a test timer and then enable and an input here right we are going to select a timer event okay so i'll just select the timer event as you will here also you will get the timestamp when it is triggered and then event time when it is triggered and then event name source and source property all will be kind of a timer and what we will i will do the same thing like we are going to update the property you know? Use the prop one and then integer and then put persist wait and service for some subscription. I will edit it. 
Property will update for every every one second. As I said, uh, since it's in milliseconds, you can also switch by for every 10 milliseconds or 100 milliseconds. I'm going to give the 100 milliseconds here. So now you can see now the event will be much faster and then it will be updated very frequently. So timer is used to uh, you know execute some business logics for uh, if it is necessary to execute in 100 milliseconds, we can use that timer uh, timer for this use case. For example, yeah, that's all about uh, timer and scheduler. So if you guys like this video, do like, share and subscribe. And then if you have any doubts or any queries, please do post it in comments. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you guys.